So what is Sonarworks? Sonarworks is a piece of software that enables you to measure the frequency response of your speakers in your studio environment. Notice I say in your studio environment, it's not measuring the frequency response of just your speakers. <laughs> Most manufacturers will have diagrams on their website of how their speakers perform. Um, they'll have a, a graphic of the EQ. Now sometimes that will be calculated and other times that will actually be measured and it may be measured in an anechoic chamber. An anechoic chamber is a perfectly silent soundproofed room. They look wicked as you can see from the picture, they look something gothic or like a cave. And the idea is that there is absolutely zero sound getting into the room and zero sound getting out of the room and zero reflections of sound in that room. I've never been in one personally. I would love to. Please let me know in the comments below if you have been in one yourself. I'd love to hear your experiences. I have heard it's very disconcerting, very unnatural, and you can hear internal organs working and stuff like that. So I, I'm, I'm really excited to, to get into one one day. Now, later on in the video, you're gonna hear how my Adam A7 speakers sounded in my previous studio room and how they sound in my new one. And it's quite interesting, the change, so stay tuned for that. The other thing the software also does is measures reflections in your room. So all these things are taken into account and what the software does is measures the frequency response, measures the reflections, measures where there's hot spots or low spots in the frequency response. And it documents that and then it creates a profile that is the opposite of what your speakers produce in your room. It is effectively an EQ. So what that does is then manipulates the sound going through it before it gets to the speakers, imposes this new EQ profile onto it, therefore neutralizing the EQ that your speakers are emitting for your room. There is an alternative called Trinov, which is a rack mountable hardware box. I have heard it is incredible. However, it comes with a £4,000 price tag. And that on its own would have blown my entire studio budget way out of the water. So I wasn't going to invest in that. In comparison, Sonarworks with this little microphone is 299 euros. So close to 300 pounds, significantly cheaper than Trinov. And if you keep an eye out, I actually just got mine recently in a Black Friday sale, which was a result. Now, if you have your own reference microphone for whatever reason, you can buy a version without the microphone. If you have a reference microphone already, you can buy the software from Sonarworks, which is 249 euros. These microphones on their own, I would say are worth getting. And for the extra 50 euros, I'd strongly recommend getting one. You need to use a specific microphone for referencing. You can't just use a, an SM57 or a 58 or a condenser mic. These are designed for this purpose. So I would suggest getting one. But guys, let me know what you've used before. Again, in the comments, I'm interested to hear other models. There are several brands out there. And there's other versions of this software. If you use something else, let me know. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that as well. The software is very straightforward. It explains exactly what you need to do to measure your room. It emits two different types of sounds, one of them being this. And that's measuring the frequencies in your room. You have to do this 36 times, I think at different points in your room, it'll direct you where to go. It freakishly knows where you are in the room, given where you hold the reference microphone by the next tones that it emits, which is this. Right, now you know what this is, let's get into the video so you can hear how my speakers sounded in the old room, in the new room before it was treated and after it was treated. So I measured the room yesterday without any acoustic treatment in this room and it, the result was worse than it was in the other room. I've treated this room now, I've got bass traps uh, lining the corners, I've got corner cubes in the corners of the room, and lots of tiles 
going along on the reflective surfaces to the side and above, uh, carpet below obviously, so hopefully this should make the room sound quite good already. I mean it's so dead in here, it's great. But yeah, let's see the difference, let's see how this sounds. So what we've got here on the screen now is three recordings of these Adam A7 speakers that I've taken. The first one, as you can see here, this was in my previous room. And it's not bad. There's a bit of a curve. It's not particularly flat at all, is it? This was the new room, untreated without any foam, any acoustic isolation. And it's a little bit different. Um, flatter, certainly across the, the mids and the highs. But there's a more consistent drop in the highs. In fact, there's quite a big drop in the highs. Um, but there's a big spike at about 125, and there's another big spike at about 50 or whatever that is. And the two speakers are a little bit different. They're not as the the, the frequency curves aren't as parallel. I think what that is is the left speaker is next to an alcove, and I that's the dark blue line here, and I think that's why there's a slight boost um, there. However. I have noticed with these speakers as well, the right speaker is a little bit quieter than the left one. I've got these on eBay for a stupidly low price, probably for that reason. What do you think? What speakers should I get? It's a small studio. I'm in a room 3.3 by 3.5 meters, I think. What do you reckon? Two-way or three-way speakers? Leave a comment below and I'll look into your suggestions. So, going back to Sonarworks, this is the untreated room. Now, as we know, Sonarworks, with a bit of magic, if I turn it on, does a correction. And that's the correction in the untreated room. It's quite drastic. It's adding a lot of highs in, uh, a lot of low mids there, and taking out that boost at about 125. Let's go back to the before. Now, if we compare it to the treated room, uh, I've got some pro acoustics foam going around the room. Instantly, all this stuff here is a lot flatter, a lot smoother, which is brilliant. That's the result I was after. And, and there's more highs in the room, which I'm surprised by because the foam is supposed to be absorbing a lot of that, or at least minimizing the reflection. But the untreated room, we go down as low as minus 6 dB. You know, from 3K onwards, that's that's a big dip. So treated, we're down to. I mean, it's not uh, it's not flat. I mean, I'm impressed with the acoustic foam here. Also, we've got the the peak at 125, roughly at 60 B there. That's down to more like four and a half, which is better. Boost at 50 there is basically the same, so nothing's really changed there. There's a slight improvement on the drop down here uh, at about 80, 90 hertz. But the main thing is this section here is flatter and the highs are a bit better. So, with the correction, that's what we've got. The correction is doing the opposite. Let's hear how that sounds. Let's play it with Sonyworks off. Okay, so straight away, <laughs> I, I'm really liking how this is working. Straight away, when I'm A, B, and I'm turning on Sonarworks and it's doing its magic, the boost at 80 to 90 is really bringing out that kick drum. That in itself is a good result. And the, the clarity on the top end is really bringing the vocals forward. Let's listen to that again. And it feels like something else is holding 
So what's interesting there is um, I have a, a preference for bass guitar when I'm mixing live sound, which is what I do when I'm not playing drums and not doing this. And I like to boost about 3K by two or three dB. Depends on the bass and the amp and the room, obviously, and the player. Depends on all those things. But I like that just to give it a bit of presence. In the chorus, that's really coming out now with the correction, which I like, but I dare say I might have over-egged it a little bit in the mix based on the um, speakers being flat. So I would probably need to dive into that and redo it. Uh, but I'm in. This is great. I, I'm I'm loving this. I'm loving the new acoustic in the room. Let me know your thoughts on Sonarworks. Let me know if you need to know anything else. Leave comments and questions below. Subscribe if you haven't, and smash that like button. I'll see you on the next one.